Uh, good morning, Candace. Uh, terribly tragic, and the officer who died yesterday in the morning had just passed his probation. He'd been on the job a little less than a year. He'd passed his 10-month probation, had been notified by his superiors that he was free to work independently as of yesterday, and that is exactly what he did at the time when he was gunned down and killed in a rural area here, not far from where we are, about 40 kilometers from Hamilton. Here's essentially what happened. Initial reports from police said that uh, that there was a fleeing vehicle, a pickup truck, uh, but police later said that this officer was responding to a vehicle in a ditch, that he approached the vehicle and then was gunned down, open fire, uh, that he did not have a chance to return fire. That's according to the OPP commissioner. Uh, they've identified uh, two suspects, or one of the two suspects, the male, Randall McKenzie, age 25, and a 30-year-old female suspect. They were later apprehended. They're in custody. They're expected to be charged criminally by the OPP sometime later today. The job as um, someone who was fully fledged, who had passed his uh, probation and was able to work independently, uh, he was gunned down. 28-year-old Greg Perscala, he had worked as a special constable at the Ontario Legislature. He was described as having been in the, uh, in the Canadian Armed Forces, that this was his dream job that he wanted to do from the age of five and was able to do it for about a year. Uh, the Ontario Provincial Police Commissioner, Thomas Carrick, he came, he flew by helicopter here to the hospital behind me uh, to meet with the family and fellow police officers, uh, here is what he said about that meeting. We will be supporting them in the, the coming days and I know they would like us to extend our thanks to all of the OPP members who have responded in support of Greg in this tragic set of circumstances, as well as our policing partners. Six Nation Police Service was instrumental in the apprehension of the two suspects and the amount of support that we've received from our policing colleagues across the country is absolutely overwhelming. Because this shooting happened on First Nations territory that is patrolled by uh, the Ontario Provincial Police. Now, after uh, the officer was uh, pronounced dead at the hospital here, uh, his body was taken to Toronto uh, to the coroner's office. And it is common in situations where police officers on duty uh, die. There was a procession of uh, police in Toronto, Toronto Police, Ontario Provincial Police, the Toronto Fire Department, uh, paramedics, all uh, paying tribute to this officer who died. Again, someone who was described as a great guy, somebody who described as someone who had his dream job. He was a, uh, a wrestler at York University. He was somebody uh, who really, really wanted this job, according to uh, others in the field, and said that uh, this, was, this was everything for him. And this was a job that ended yesterday, tragically, uh, in a field uh, not far from here. Uh, the investigation just did its fairly early stages. Um, and of course, as I said, uh, they're expecting to lay criminal charges against those two suspects here sometime later today. Candace, back to you. Okay, thanks so much. That's Sean O'Shea reporting.